Good morning, Bande Matram. Welcome all of you. This morning we are going to discuss a very nice topic uh, that is truth and falsehood. So interestingly, uh, this is a great topic of discussion of course. Um, generally the difference between truth and falsehood uh, that must be known to the entire um, uh, community and to the entire race almost to everybody because they must know the difference between the truth and falsehood because uh, in the ignorance in uh, inside this uh, in conscience people are staying so mostly they are attached and attracted to the falsehood uh, without um, much concentrating focusing on the truth even if some know they don't try to um, sleep into that uh, bright shirt that luminous shirt so almost they are confined to this ignorance and falsehood so better this topic we are going to discuss in a brief of course um, about the truth and falsehood uh, in brief in our quarter on our discussion uh, this morning so uh, we must be ready we must be prepared internally um, of course to understand it must touch the heart instead of touching the mind it is a very um, beautiful um, way of discussing and it is um, the most um, interesting way of uh, of course uh, reading mother and sri aurobindo um, uh, this morning this right now that invocation we it comes to our mind supreme lord eternal truth let us obey thee alone and live according to truth from there we can start of course this uh, truth and falsehood so naturally um, we know um, we'll go um, to the mother's quotings initially then we'll come to see your window later so hypocrisy and the pretension are the um, homage ignorance pays to the truth that is what the very beautiful sentence mother has quoted two terms he has used mother has used hypocrisy and the pretension are the homage ignorance pays to the truth ignorance pays to the truth as homage that is two words hypocrisy and the pretension hypocrisy and pretension again mother quotes are the past signs of the inconscience aspect towards consciousness of course it has got its full um, value at least it is aspiring again mother quotes truth is stronger than falsehood but actually till now we know falsehood its rain is uh, found everywhere it is actually almost culminating the process it is actually raining the process so falsehood is greater there is no value no place for the truth as there is no light place of light because darker forces um, dark adventurers seem to win dark forces trying to dominate the scenario so um, uh, truth is here mother course truth is stronger than the falsehood there is an immortal power that uh, governs the world there is an immortal power that governs the world so people who are actually little bit worried little bit actually fearful afraid of this uh, concept that uh, to false it actually ignorance that is governing the world they must be conscious they must be mindful they must know they must be convinced that uh, there is an immortal power that govern the world its um, decisions always um, prevail immortal power his decision prevails so for the time being even if it is um, outwardly visible that the dark adventures are winning um, they are at the top but thing is that immortal power his will his decision is final join with and it and you are sure of the final victory end of the journey um, you must find the victory of the truth is ultimately certain at the end of the tunnel at the end of the darkness there is light at the end of the struggle struggle um, there is actually uh, you will get some solace at the end of the victory uh, deep in war there is victory so till that uh, time we must be consciously going and uh, confidently going with the uh, being open to the mother keeping confidence in the mother when men will be um, disgusted when men will be disgusted with the falsehood in which they live one day it will come they will be disgusted they will try now itself they keep it is the time already we have seen and um, they are disgusted with the falsehood they don't want to remain under the cloth anymore they don't get to want to get veiled so um, then the world will be ready for the reign of the truth unless otherwise you want to be freed nobody can free you you are now people this world is under the clause of the ignorance unless otherwise it is trying to free itself to get to freed from the clause 
nobody can free you so again mother quotes um, before dying uh, <coughs> false before um, dying falsehood rises in full swing uh, as we have known the phrase uh, darkness uh, night is the darkest before the sun before the sun is coming night seems to be the darkest here before the falsehood rises in full swing uh, still people understand only the uh, lesson of catastrophe um, will have the have to come before they open the eyes to the truth so this catastrophe seems to be darkness in concern but actually we must be open in our eyes to the uh, original divine light so I ask an effort from all mother course I ask an effort from all so that it has to it has not to be that catastrophe that difficulties that error that uh, falsehood it must not be there it is only the truth that we that can save us nothing else only the truth the presence of the truth the blessing of the truth the um, very help of the truth that can save us in words in truth in words truth in action truth in will truth in feeling that is what not only in whatever we express is outwardly sometimes we speak up that is not easy but actually truth that can save us only the truth that can uh, save us then what type of truth from which person this truth will emerge truth in words truth in action truth in will truth in feeling it is the choice between uh, serving the truth or being destroyed two options are there um, um, just imagine um, uh, other no other option. one is the truth very sovereign truth and the second one uh, you, you have to get it or get it destroyed there is no intermediate plane no middle path is there so you have to choose main countries continuous choice of imperative truth or abyss so, so sometimes we feel uh, we'll stand in the middle way because middle path is chosen for the thinking man. This best phrase that is the time is that time is over, truth is flooding over. So if you stand in the way, so people will start uh, actually destroying you. Simply will fall down and they will climb on you. It is better. Still time is there before time. One must be conscious. For those who are eager to get rid of the falsehood, here is the way. There is a way to join the way is soon, the way it is, the way is very clear and uh, it is time, the guidance is there, so everything is there for you, so there is naturally it is a high time to choose. Don't try to please yourself, don't try to please um, um, either to please others, try to please only the divine, that is the only method, that is the only secret, because uh, he alone is the truth, who is truth? What we see, what we feel, what we do, that is not truth. It is semi-truth, partial truth, half-truths. But the, he alone is the truth. Each and every one of, of us human beings are the um, in our physical body. It um, is a coat of falsehood put on, the, put on the Lord and hiding him. So we are hiding him. We are putting him under the cover. We are keeping, just we are pretending that format must be wiped off. All he alone is true to himself. As he alone is true to himself, it is on him that we must concentrate and not on the course of the falsehood. That falsehood, he has made us body and all that is course. So we must see the truth, the hidden demigod, the hidden soul that is here. That we must concentrate on that, not on the physical covering, physical court. That is, that is what. There is only one solution for falsehood. There is only one solution for the falsehood. It is, seems to the entire, it is now the problems, everything, everywhere you see problems and problems and problems, darkness, ignorance, everything inconscient, everything that. But mother course, there is only one solution. Um, it is to cure in ourselves that all contradicts in our um, consciousness of the uh, presence of the divine. So that contradicts in us into the presence of the divine inside us it is to be cure in ourself that we must be conscious we must cure we must be ready and we must be of course aware that cure will be there in all the all that contradicts the contradiction must not be there again let us offer our falsehood to the divine so that he may change it, it to joyous truth you just imagine, offer our falsehood, now itself we must know where and what type, what is the falsehood, what is the type, how it is coming. And after identifying, discovering everything, we must give to the divine, so that this mother, he may change it to the joyous truth. 
So again, mother quotes, um, the truth is, where is the truth? Truth is above the mind. The truth is not linear or global. It is not a successive, but um, simultaneous. So therefore, it can't be expressed in words. It has to be lived. So nothing depends upon the words and also we have to go beyond and we have to identify and uh, we have to know the truth. Uh, again, another course about uh, truth can't be formulated in words, but it can be lived provided one is pure and uh, plastic enough. Truth not to be delivered, not to be spoken, not to be taught, but it has to be lived. That is what the thing we have to take care of. To come closer to the truth, you must often accept not to understand. To come closer to the truth, you must often accept not to understand. Just uh, understanding with have a reasoning mind, a questioning mind, a superficial mind. Um, so we keep asking so not to understand that is better because truth is wider, truth is greater than our, um, of course, um, imagination and all. The truth is neither in a sep neither in separation or in uniformity. Then where it is, the truth is in the is an unity manifesting through diversity. Very interesting definition. Truth is in in uh, unity manifesting through diversity. Uh, again, again, intellectually, truth is the point where all the opportunities meet and join uh, as um, make a unity. Um, this is a point, truth is a point where the opportunities meet and join. Opportunity, all the opportunity meet and join to make unity. Practically, the truth is um, the surrender of the ego. <laughs> Just imagine how beautiful is your mother quotes. Practically, the truth is the surrender of the ego to make possible the birth and manifestation of the divine. That is what the truth. The doubt is the best arm used by the ego to protect itself from extinction. So when you doubt, when you contradict, that is the time that the ego is misutilizing, misleading. There, we are, there are remarks on the way which may lead you to a, a little further. So remarks and all, if you get rid of trust on the divine, that is the best way. Truth is above mind. In, it is in the silence that one can enter into the communication with it. It is above mind. Mind can um, just analyze, can, might can reach. Um, we have to get up. We have to exceed. To pray to the divine and to surrender oneself entirely and in all sincerity to him at the essential preliminary conditions. What are the real conditions that Mother quotes it here? Beautifully, Mother quotes. Um, to pray to the divine and surrender oneself entirely and with all sincerity to him that is the only inter that is the condition falsehood can't enter truth and opinions again in the ignorance mental opinions um, always oppose one another so um, there is a hindrance in the truth they may be complementary aspects of a higher knowledge again mother course um, uh, beautifully Sp um, uh, speak always the truth we have to be speak uh, um, uh, under the guidance of the speech to speak always the truth it is the highest title of nobility again if you are not um, wish to say something what is true instead of lying just keep silent don't lie or just keep silent that is the best way again um, um we'll quote few lines on falsehood from sri aurobindo beautifully all falsehood is a truth making and a truth in the breaking very simple sentence very attractive sentence very uh, worthy sentence all falsehood is a truth in the making or a truth in the breaking again in our um, it is our misle misreading of the world which uh, mental egoism through mental egoism that is a falsehood, misreading, nothing else. Again, it is time is coming closer, we will see um, on truth. Um, the intensity of belief is not the measure of the truth. What we believe that intensity is not the real measure of truth. Truth is the foundation of real spirit spirituality and uh, courage its soul. Truth that is the most um, essential condition, a foundation of real spirituality. Truth of all things uh, is in, um, in the calm of their deaths. Truth of all things is in the calm of their death, so we have to go, we have to do it, we have to plunge. Truth is everywhere and can't be one's own monopoly. The infinite greater no, truth is greater than the words. We must stick to, we must know the difference between truth and falsehood. Thank you.